What's going on everyone? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. This is really nice trail somewhat near my house. So I just cruised down it because the weather today feels incredible. Summer is truly coming people. I think the weather is like, it's 55 outside today. It feels really good. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about a change in my workflow recently. That's a pretty big change that's changing a lot of my overall process for editing. And I wanted to tell you guys about it today and potentially inspire you to do the same thing or just to get you starting to think about it and just sort of talk about this decision I made to change my workflow. Uh, so pretty much as long as I've been editing, for the most part, ever since I've been using Final Cut Pro, I've been using LUTs as a very big part of my general workflow. Pretty much every project that I've ever worked on ever, I've used some kind of LUT. But here's the thing, I never used any LUTs that I had actually made myself. I would always just buy LUTs on the internet for photo editing, I would always download Lightroom presets, and over the years I've literally spent hundreds of dollars on LUTs and Lightroom presets. But recently I made a change and deleted every single color preset that I have on my computer, both LUTs and Lightroom presets. now and it's time to actually start talking about why I don't use LUTs or buy LUTs, buy LUTs anymore for my videos. Now before I get into it, I just want to say if you guys are buying LUTs, you're still buying LUTs, if after this video you still buy LUTs, I have no problem with that. Like I said, I've bought tons of LUTs in my day, I've spent a lot of money on it and I have no problem with people selling LUTs or buying LUTs. These are just my personal reasons for deciding to move on to a different method. The main reason why I decided to stop using LUTs for my videos is because I want to establish my own creative style. Even though I use LUTs in the past, I still mess around with a lot of color grading inside of DaVinci Resolve, I do a lot of color grading for my videos. I enjoy it, I like the process of color grading and coming up with different color schemes, color themes, and things like that. And LUTs were a great way to sort of base my own style on, but I think it's time for me to evolve into my own work, my own LUTs, and creating videos that are 100% my own personal style. You guys know I make a lot of tutorials, I mimic a lot of other people's effects for these videos, but through that process of me teaching you guys and mimicking other people's effects, I think I've actually established at least a little bit of my own style. Maybe that's giving myself too much credit, but I think that most of my videos sort of have a particular look, especially things like my Anyone Can Create video or that latest speech edit I did for Instagram. I think my videos generally have a somewhat consistent style. But to add to that even more, I think it's time for me to start creating my own color style, my own color palette to use for Instagram, to use for my videos, and I want that style to be 100% my own. So that's the main reason why I've decided to switch over to creating my own LUTs. I'm not going to stop using LUTs, I'm not going to stop using Lightroom presets, but instead I'm just going to create my own. So I know that was a bit of a quick explanation. I thought about dragging this video out more, but the truth is that's the only reason why I'm doing it. But now I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to make your own LUTs inside of Adobe Photoshop. It's a super easy process, way easier than I ever realized. So let's hop on the computer and start talking about it. All right, everyone. So I'm on the computer now inside of Adobe Photoshop, and we've got this photo right here from my Autel Evo drone review and giveaway video. And now we're going to be creating a LUT for this image or for this video inside of Photoshop. Now, one important note is that I did not shoot this in a flat picture profile. I used my Sony A6500 and I shot it in picture profile too, which is generally used for photos, but I use it quite frequently for my videos if I'm on a time crunch. So what we're gonna do is go down to the right corner and we're just gonna start adding different effects. The first one is the hue saturation effect and I'm just gonna go through and adjust all these colors a little bit. This is just for a tutorial, I'm not doing anything too seriously. So I'm not gonna sweat about this too much, just make a few different tweaks. Now after I'm done with the hue saturation, I'm gonna go ahead and add a curves effect. We'll pull down the shadows just a touch. Then I'm gonna go down to the blue. We'll bring some blue into the shadows. Head over to the red. We're gonna pull down the red to bring in some green. And then I'm gonna add a channel mixer effect. Go ahead and see. 
The last effect I'm gonna add is this color balance. We'll just adjust a few of these tabs. Nothing too much. It's all about subtle hints. Cool, so once you're happy with your grid, I think this looks pretty cool. And once again, this is just for a tutorial. You're gonna go ahead and select your photo and make sure it's set to the background. Go up to File, Export, and then select Color Lookup Table. I'm just gonna name this Tutorial. There's a few different formats. The one I prefer is Cube, but you can also use 3DL. You can use any of them if you want, but Cube is the one I like the most. I went ahead and saved a lot onto my computer. Now I can go back into my project. Inside of Premiere, I'll add an adjustment layer. We'll go ahead and pull on the Lumetri Colors effect. We'll go down to Creative, and in Creative, I'm going to select Browse, and then I'm just loading my LUT in. All right, cool, so now you guys can see we've got this color grade right on top of our footage. Super, super easy to do, and I think it looks really solid. Now for other shots, if you want, it comes on a little bit strong, and that's why you have the intensity adjustment right here, so you can bring down the intensity or bring it up if you want as well. So there you guys have it. That's how to create LUTs inside of Adobe Photoshop. Super, super easy and really, really effective for pulling on some super nice color grades.